Hello, I'm Dr. Judith Lewis, Interim Dean of the College of Nursing. I'm very pleased to be here to celebrate with all of you and to welcome you to the Xavier University College of Nursing Pinning Ceremony. The College of Nursing is an integral part of the university, with one in seven of the student body enrolled in a nursing program. Its total current enrollment is 1,230 students. 563 are in the traditional four-year baccalaureate and 392 in the accelerated program. Last fall, we welcomed 203 new freshmen to the traditional program and 184 students joined the ABS program across the three sites. In addition to Ohio, our graduates are practicing in 22 states. In just under three months after completing classes, our graduates are providing holistic nursing care improving and improving the health and wellness of individuals and populations. This ceremony is about recognizing you and all of your efforts to get to this point. It's about a group of faculty who give back to a profession they love by preparing others with an education of the highest quality to ensure that the nursing profession will continue to be dynamic and essential. It's about people who choose to enter a profession whose sole purpose is serving and taking care of others. And it's about your family and friends who have sacrificed and supported you in achieving your goals. Before you set out on the next phase of your lives, I would ask you to do one more thing. Take time. It is a simple request, but very important. Take time to slow down, to appreciate everything around you. Take time to appreciate your friends, the ones who've been with you, studied with you, understood what you were going through. Take time to appreciate your family who were there for you, supporting you, and who probably felt like they were going through nursing school also. Take time to appreciate your faculty who helped you to be ready to enter into a, a, a brand new profession and who served as role models for nursing practice. Take time to say thank you to those who have helped. Most importantly, take the time to savor the moment, bask in your accomplishments, reflect and give thanks in a way that has meaning for you. You are entering the profession at a crucial time in the country and in the world. Every day, we are reminded of the contributions that nurses are making in dealing with this pandemic. Nurses are there to help patients conquer the ravages of the pandemic, celebrate when they are able to rejoin their loved ones, and they are there when they can't. You should feel confident and know that you have been prepared to handle this responsibility. So while you are celebrating your accomplishments, take time to reflect on the type of nurses you want to be and will have to be. Think of the Jesuit mission and values that have framed your definition of nursing. Make promises to yourself to grow, expand, and always seek the next step beyond. When you think you have reached a limit, refuse to accept it and move beyond and forward. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social condition. No, even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. The faculty have given you the tools to succeed. I challenge you to use the education and the relationships you have forged here as a springboard to grow. Know with confidence that there are great things ahead and reach for them. So I offer you my congratulations and my thanks for letting the Xavier University College of Nursing be a part of the mark you are going to make in the nursing profession and in the world. And remember, as someone once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Thank you.
Gracious God, we gather to give thanks and to ask your blessing upon these young women and men. You have given them generous hearts and skilled training to serve your people in the nursing profession. May the pen that each receives today be a constant sign of your love and care for them. And may the sick and the needy, when they gaze upon this pen, take comfort in knowing that they will be deeply loved and cared for. And may your faithful love continue to bless and watch over all of us. Amen. Hello, my name is Mary Morris, and I am the director of the Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. Today we are celebrating the graduates from our Cincinnati and Columbus sites. The Magis Award is given at each pinning ceremony to graduating students from each site who exemplify this spirit according to the following characteristics. Academic excellence, clinical excellence, and an individual who makes a difference in nursing. The Latin meaning for magis is more. Magis was a term traditionally used by the Ignatius of Loyola and the Jesuits suggesting the spirit of gener generous excellence in which outstanding ministry to others which is provided. Our award winners for the May 21 graduating class are Cincinnati, Allison Turmer, and Columbus, Madison Farmer. Congratulations to all of our graduates from the program faculty and staff. It's good to be with all of you today. Were this a normal year, which we know it's not, we wouldn't be doing things quite this way. And the prayer service that I'm about to conduct uh, would happen in a slightly different way because we'd all be together in the same room. It sort of helps when you do prayer like that. But it's nonetheless heartfelt, as are my own great thanks to you and congratulations to you, to you students for all your hard work and sacrifices along the way, for the ways in which you've supported one another in and out of the classroom, helped you all to get to this finish line that you're approaching this weekend. And to all you family and friends as well, you know that these students of yours, uh, you've got to be even more proud of them than we are, and we're pretty proud of them indeed. A number of years ago, I developed at the request of the nursing faculty a kind of blessing prayer that I'll ask you to join me in as we prepare to send these graduates out to do work that really belongs to God, doesn't it? Uh, the healing of God's people. And so join your hearts with mine in prayer. The Lord Jesus, who went about doing good works and healing sickness and infirmity of every kind, commanded his disciples to care for the sick, to pray for them, and to lay hands upon them. Today, in this pinning ceremony, we entrust the Lord's own healing ministry to these students. As we begin, let us listen to the words of the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and God of all encouragement, who encourages us in every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so too in Christ does our encouragement also overflow. Because the Lord loves in a special way all our brothers and sisters who are ill, he holds in special fondness and affection as well those who care for them. Let us pray that God will bless these nurses as we say, Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. Lord, give those who are sick the comfort of your presence. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. Lord Jesus, you came as healer of body and spirit in order to cure all our ills. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. You were a man of suffering, but it was our infirmities that you bore, our sufferings that you endured. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. 
You chose to be like us in all things in order to assure us of your compassion. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. You experience the weakness of the flesh in order to deliver us from evil. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. You felt compassion for the crowd and went about doing good and healing the sick. Lord, comfort your sick through their hands. Strengthen these graduating nurses with your own gifts of compassionate healing. Lord, strengthen your sick through their hands. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you went about doing good and healing all you touched. We ask you now to bless your friends here with us who will extend your healing love and compassion to those who are sick today. Give them strength in body, courage in spirit, patience with pain. May they tend those who will be in their care with the same love in which you hold all your people, but especially those who are sick. And may they always place their trust and their confidence in you from whom all health and blessings flow. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. God bless all of you in the futures before you.